Welcome back to a new episode about how to add variables in an echo or print statement. There are multiple ways to do this and there isn't one that is better than the other. It is more a preference thing. Like I showed you in the previous episode, you can display the value in a variable on a web page with an echo or print statement. So let's create a variable called age and let's set it equal to 24. And let's create a print statement and let's print out variable age. And let's create an echo as well. And let's echo out variable age. And if we save it and refresh the browser, you can see that the output is 24 with the print and echo statement. Right now, I want to focus on the echo first before continuing on with the print statement. So let me remove the print statement. Let's add a comment. And let's say that we want to work with echo first. And like I said in the previous episode, you can use single quotes or double quotes, but they both have different effects on variables. So let me add it as a comment. Let's say that single quotes, single quotes, variable names are echoed as it is. So let me add that. And if you use double quotes, the variable names are replaced by the variable values. So let's change our echo and let's remove the variable and let's say my age is a space and let's end it. So if we save it and refresh it, you can see that the output is my age is. What we eventually want to do is to add our variable age right inside our echo. And if you want to do this, you need to enclose the variable name, so right inside of our echo, with curly braces. And inside our curly braces, we need to write down the variable name. In our case, it's age. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that the variable, which is equal to 24, is printed out. And the output is not my age is, well, curly braces age. So PHP is looking for the variable called age in your script and we defined it. And if we remove it, refresh the browser, you can see that we're getting an undefined variable because, well, age doesn't exist. So let's go back, save it and refresh it. And this is what we want. So if we replace our double quotes with single quotes right now, so let's test it out. Let's save it and refresh it. You can see that this does not work because variable names are echoed as it is. So how it works with single quotes, you need to concatenate the two strings. Well, a variable h, which is, which is an integer, but this can be done with a punctuation mark. And this is used to combine two strings or integers to create one string. And in order to do this, you need to remove your curly braces. You also need to remove your single quote at the end and you need to place it after the word is because you want to concatenate my age is from the variable. And the way you concatenate it is with a punctuation mark. And the spaces are mandatory. So if I remove it, save it and refresh the browser, you can see that my age is 24 again, but it looks better if you add the spaces, so therefore I'll, I will be using it. And this works with double quotes as well. So let's replace the single quotes with double quotes, save it and refresh it, and the output is still, my age is 24. Even though I will be using the echo statement throughout my course, I want to show you how this can be done with the print statement, because echo and print is just a preference thing. So if you like to use print rather than echo, I recommend you to use it. So therefore, I want to show you how that works as well. So let's remove our echo and let's print out variable age. Let's save it, refresh the browser and the output is 24. So let's print a string or a piece of text. And let's say my age is, let's save it. And this works. And let's add the curly braces after is, and let's add variable age inside our curly braces save it, refresh it, and this works as well. And if we want to concatenate it, so double quotes, punctuation mark, variable age, and let's remove the closing, curly braces, save it, refresh it, and the output is still the same. I will be using the concatenation style 
And that's just a preference thing for me. That's what I used to do with PHP. But if you want to use the curly braces right inside the print, which is a pretty good one too, or inside of your echo, I recommend you to just do that. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.